Today's video is about this GoPro mount that I made for this bow. Um, I really like running a GoPro on the bow when I'm, I'm filming. It just it, it's easy to have a GoPro on the bow. It's say you're uh, say you're crawling through some grass, you're doing a spot and stalk, or it, even just the aspect of it's one less camera that you got to set up somewhere you got to find a branch to put it on or something like that it's just there it's on your bow when you're using your bow it's going to be facing you when you're walking it's really easy to to use your bow as like a, a selfie stick you know if you're walking through the woods or you know you're kind of ducking through a swamp you can have this right in front of you it's really easy and it's not something extra to carry so i really like having that in fact some hunts if i'm you know, if I'm not going to bring a main camera, which I'm getting away from doing that this, this upcoming year, but this past season, oftentimes I would rely on just the Tacticam and this, and it would still be a, enough footage to put together kind of a decent a decent story, you know, where you can kind of tell what, what was going on. But, uh, so I use this product again, this Instamorph, and I, you'll see me working it and stuff in the video. One other thing to keep in mind is if you were to do this and mount a GoPro on your bow this way where it's uh, not turned, where, where it is turned sideways, where it's not turned the way that it, it should be, you're going to want to make sure that you're using it in like super view or you know wide is okay. I got some video on both so I'll show you the difference between. Because what you're going to end up doing is when you go to edit that video, you're going to have to crop that video so that it doesn't look dumb. And I got some some uh, footage that I can show you from past videos where it, it looks dumb. Um, you can, you know, if you wanted to mount it the right way, I used to do that. And you just have to have some extra arms and stuff. It's just one more thing that's always getting hung up on brush and stuff. And you know, it kind of always fooling with it because it never looks quite right so I got away from doing that because I like how compact this is you know, I keep my quiver on my bow most of the time so when I put the bow on the back seat of the truck I lay it down like that and it does kind of rest on it but if this GoPro was, was way out like this it just wouldn't work you know it'd be out, sticking out too far so you know this is the way I'll keep it a lot until I'm ready to deploy it and I just turn it out and it's really easy you know it's a GoPro so you can't hardly mess up the mess up the angle I got some footage of shooting with it like I said so that is that um, 
here's an example of so this last season I had it mounted up here and I didn't make an actual mount for it I just had a screw that was countersunk into a GoPro mount and it, it it broke eventually it's just it's too much abuse in fact it was just like that it was countersunk in there just like that but by the time you countersink that screw there's not much material left and this will break off and you can see this is kind of just my redneck setup for this one okay so this is a clip that was shot with the camera mounted on the bow and this is then wide and this clip here the camera is in super view which is like an ultra wide so <clears throat> because the camera is mounted vertically this video it's sideways and in all honesty that really doesn't bother me that much but if it bothers you what you can do is when you highlight this now we'll go to crop this is all in iMovie by the way rotate now you got these big thick black bars what you can do is then you're going to crop to fit and you lose a lot of what's going on but now we can go ahead and apply that But if you're going to do something like this, now let's do the same thing. This is then just wide view. So we're going to go to crop to fit. Oops, first we're going to switch it here. All right, so it would be like this, I believe. Crop to fit. It would be easier to find a part in the video where there's a little bit more going on. Here we go. Okay, so let's apply it. So now this is in the wide view crop to fit. So now this is kind of tight. You know, if you're trying to see the background and kind of tell a story, that's a little bit too tight as far as I'm concerned. But this, this is in super view. We're about to enter this clip right now. This isn't quite as bad. You can see that opens it up. And super view looks really weird when you're looking at the, the full version of it that way. But when you turn it this way and then you crop it down, it doesn't look so... It's still obviously fisheye, but it's not nearly as bad. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you on the next one.